Okay, time to take a look at the Votomi 100 watt flexible solar panel. Oh, that is cool. Neat. Oh, so we got instructions. You got an MC4 connector and some cardboard packing. But the biggest thing about this guy is just that it is flexible. So what that means is if you're gonna be putting it on an RV or if you're gonna be doing like van life stuff, anything like that where the top surface is not perfectly flat, with this thing you can actually get that to contour to whatever shape that you need it. Now there's gonna be a limit to how much flex there is, but still for like a top of a van, it's gonna be no problem. And with that, you can tie this thing down. You don't ever have to pull it back down. You got full monocrystalline cells on here. And for hundred watts, this isn't really that big. Like this doesn't take up a huge footprint. I especially like that it's not super Super wide. So you don't have to worry about wrapping it lengthwise on a fan. You can still put this thing sideways and you got plenty of room. So if you want to put multiple layers of these, you can do that. So if you look on the back, we can see it does have a label with the power rating on it. So it says it's 100 watts. It outputs 20.31 volts DC at 4.92 amps. So 20 times 5 is 100. Now what that means is your controller needs to be able to handle at least 20 volts. That's not a problem for mine because it can handle 24. Yeah, this is really nice. So let's go ahead and test this guy out. Okay, I got it plugged in. We are in the sun. And see, we got standard MC4 connectors. So we are plugged right into my Rock Pals power station and we are getting 64 watts right now. And it's not even noon. So this is actually, as of right now, this is actually my best solar panel. This thing is just sucking power out of the sun. Yeah, it is 9.53 in the morning and we are still getting 64 watts. So I'm very happy with that. That is really nice.